Hey guys, uh, I'm Ethan Moore from Stockton Supply. Uh, Linwood, thank you for your email. Now, Linwood has a bandsaw. He's making bandsaw boxes, and he's having trouble with his blade breaking. Now, he thinks, and it's very, very possible, Linwood, that your blade is breaking because you have it uh, tensioned incorrectly. So I'm going to go through how to tension it. Before that, though, I want to talk about some other reasons that blade potentially might be breaking. So. Anywho, you don't mention what kind of saw you have, but just for starters, um, one thing that puts a lot of stress on bandsaw blades is, depends on how big a diameter the wheel is. So the bigger the diameter of the bandsaw blade, with the bandsaw wheel, the less stress it puts on a blade. So if you have an 18 inch bandsaw, you can safely run a one inch or an inch and a quarter blade without having to worry about that weld breaking. If you have a 14, you can go basically up to uh, three quarters. Some guys will go to seven eighths. The smaller band saws, um, you're never going to run anything larger than a half inch or even a three eighths because they put a lot of stress when they're trying to bend that thick blade around the wheel. It tends to break the weld. So um, if you have a three wheel band saw, they have especially small wheels and they're notorious for breaking blades. And there's actually a special material designed for three wheel band saws that run a lot better, they're a little bit more flexible, they're less prone to breaking on those bandsaws. So if you do have a three wheel, um, maybe look at that special material, and I think we have it on our website. But um, now, the other thing, when you're cutting a bandsaw box, uh, one thing that breaks blades easy is, of course, um, side pressure. And I talk a lot about that in other videos, when you make a hot, it, it's easy to break blades that way. So just make sure you're not putting pressure on the side, where you're putting pressure directly on the front and churning it. Um, into the front. So anyways, all those things aside, let's talk about blade tension. So this is true for any size blade. Now, first thing I want to talk about, these blade tension gauges. Pretty well every bandsaw is going to have a gauge. A lot of them will be on the back behind the wheel. Um, this Rikon has it right here. Now this is a beautiful gauge. If you turn this knob, you can see that big pointer moving up and down. Now the thing is, this gauge means absolutely nothing. Um, the problem is, if that blade I have in the saw, this saw requires a 111 inch blade. If that blade is 110 and 7 eighths, that is totally inaccurate. Basically, the thing about a bandsaw blade, when you get a blade, very rarely is it going to be actually exactly 111 inches. Because um, every blade has a different tooth pattern, 3 teeth, 7 teeth, whatever. It is sometimes very difficult to get exactly, um, you don't want to cut a tooth in half and weld it halfway through a tooth because it doesn't make sense to do that. So a lot of time when you're buying a blade, you just got to know that they basically have a range of a quarter inch, plus or minus a quarter inch. So pretty much every time, these tension gauges mean nothing. So the way I tension the blade, if I'm trying to do it properly, is like this. Um, first thing I do, I take the guides away from the blade, and I have it just loose like this. Um, so that's a 3 16 This is the same blade that Linwood's using. Um, and I just tension it so I know that that blade's not going to fall off my bandsaw, essentially. So once we have it there, bottom and top guides are off. You turn that on. You watch the blade. Now, if you look at that blade right now, you can see it vibrating. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten that up until I can see that blade straighten right out. Okay, so you see that there? It's straightened right out. I'm going to go about a quarter turn beyond that. And that right there is what they say is a properly tensioned blade. To be totally honest, I never ever do that. I just tighten it up until I feel like it's good and I start cutting. If you've watched any of my other videos, like my very first video I do, I show you how little the blade tension really matters. Um, so I don't ever do that, but basically all that's doing there is preventing you guys from over tightening your blades. So that's a, that's kind of a cool way to do it. So yeah, um, if anyone else has any questions, um, you can email me at info at stockroomsupply.com or comment on the video. And if you guys want to see future videos, uh, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.